good morning after it's not morning it's not it's night don't touch me i'm so used to saying good morning it's mondays with maddie hence the issue with being live right now so i am live and i've never done a live mondays with maddie but i've also never done mondays with maddie repeated i've always just done it on the first try so if you are with me right now welcome to mondays with maddie and I never tape from my phone either. I always tape from my laptop. So it's really weird right now, like the place of the phone. So as you can hear, I'm still battling an upper respiratory infection, but it's fine. If Derek, my handy assistant, could bring me um, a really quick, uh, my, a really quick uh, product release, which is the best defense. Some people are saying they can't hear, so I don't know if that's just. Asia, or if that's everyone, maybe somebody else can comment whether or not they can hear. Okay, she said, I can hear you now. So, product of the week is how we start off every Mondays with Madi. So, first of all, if you're a new subscriber to Mondays with Madi, it's just me giving some random thoughts and it's me sharing my journey with um, my business as a mommy, um, just needing to be empowered. So, we always start off with the product of the week. Obviously, I need something that's going to help me. So my product of the week this week is Herbalife's Best Defense. I'm actually drinking it right now with um, some hot lemon and um, some honey. So if you are a person that suffers from allergies or you're feeling like a little cold, Best Defense is the way. Okay, so thanks for joining in. Um, today's Mondays with Madi is on disempowering conversations. So disempowering conversations. So I want to tell you guys a little story about my childhood real quick. So my parents divorced when I was four years old. And you're going to have to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm trying, Leah, I'm trying, I'm trying to get my voice popping. So my parents divorced when I was four. And they, my dad and my mom had a really bad falling out. And even though my dad promised that he would remain in my life, at 11 years old, he said that he no longer wanted to be a part of my life. He moved away, got married, and started his own life. <clears throat> I lived with my mom all of my life. She did the very best that she could being a single mother of me and my brother. And, um, you know, I remember once my mom being really, uh, we weren't well off at all when we were young. And um, I lost a check once. And I remember my mom, like, choking me, like, oh, like, how could you lose this check? And she was, like, flipping out. And now as an adult, I can see why. Like, my mom... That was down to her last bone to pay my tuition in elementary school. And here I am being irresponsible, playing with checks outside. Like, so things were really hard um, when I was a kid. And she made, she worked her way up. My mom's fresh off the boat from Venezuela. So thick accent, spoke no English. So as I started to grow older, no dad, not well off, you know, <coughs> excuse me, wondering why, you know, we couldn't make it the way um, some of my friends were making it, right? So I started to create a story, even at that age, that good things can't possibly happen to people like me. Good things can't happen to people fresh off the boat with an accent. Good things can't happen to products of divorce. Good things can't happen to people who are, you know, living with a single mom who works two, three jobs to make ends meet. And I stayed trapped in that slave mentality. So I want everyone to think about something that's trapping you right now, that you're captured in that slave mentality and you're trapped and you can't move forward, right? So what happened was now as an adult, I'm starting to notice something. Every time I get closer to success, I get back into that story of good things can't happen to me. And, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you guys don't have to bear with me, this is live. So I'll give you an example. Um, when I graduated from college, I was so excited, right? New graduate, and I was sharing it with family members, and they said that I was always bragging because I was a college grad, and it made them feel like I was superior, and they were inferior to me. So what did I do? I stopped bragging about my accomplishments. So what's happening? Now I'm 35, right? I'm making some serious money, and I'm afraid to tell people. I'm afraid to share. I'm trapped in that slave mentality, and I've created a story based on my past. Good things can't happen to me. It's not good to be successful because it attracts negative attention. So what disempowering thoughts are actually holding you back? Oh, hubby gave me a cough job. 
<laughs> what disempowering thoughts are holding you back from reaching your level of success? I'm going to take you through a really quick exercise. So, what story are you telling yourself? It could be anything. So, for me, <coughs> it was, you know, the fear that right now it's a fear that I'm going to miss my millionaire team cut. We're going to miss our second cut. Why? Because my past showed me that it's I'm not I'm not going to be successful because people like me don't get successful. My dad told me you're not going to amount to much if you're just going to be a teacher. You know, I didn't go to the college that he wanted me to, which was his alma mater. I turned down the scholarship because I wanted to be the person that I wanted to be. So I grew up thinking I'm never going to be rich. I'm never going to be successful. And it's not good to be successful because people consider you to be a braggart when you are, right? So I'm afraid now to share my success with other people and give people hope because of that slave mentality and that story that had come on me when I was a kid. Then the next part, so the first thing you do is you identify the disempowering thought. You identify the fear that you're experiencing. Then the next thing you do, okay, is you identify what in your past is attributed to that. So for me, I'm afraid to be successful because good things don't happen to me. And what for my past? <coughs> my dad said, you're not going to be successful. He left me. My mom was a single mom struggling, right? So I learned from my past that good things can't happen. So identify what's your fear, then identify what from your past is holding you back. Third story, what story are you creating based on your past? So the story that I've created is success doesn't last and it's not acceptable in society to be successful. So I seriously sabotage every effort to be successful out of fear of being successful because of what people are gonna judge me on because of my success. And the fourth step in breaking the chain is you got to create a new story. Excuse me. <coughs> you have to create a new story. So <clears throat> my new story is the affirmation that good things happen to me because I'm deserving of them, because I work hard for them. And your new story has to be something that empowers you. So maybe your fear is, I can't find love. I'm going to die alone. So what from your past? Is, is attached to that. Maybe you saw a, spouse, a, a parent that was alone all their life. Or maybe you saw, you know, that every relationship has failed. But in reality, it's your slave mentality that kept you sabotaging those relationships. Then you say, okay, um, what new story can I create? You can create the story of I am deserving of love. People love me and the right person will love me. Maybe your story is, <clears throat> you know, my child will not be successful. What from your past has shown you that? So what we do is we take something from our past and we give it so much power that it keeps us slave, enslaved in our future. So you got to be really careful to let go of your past and only deal with the present because whatever is in your past has no control over you and that's how you let go of disempowering thoughts. So the exercise, one more time. What do I fear? What from my past is attached to it? So what is the story I've been telling myself? And then you create a new story. Because in actuality, all life is a bunch of stories. Whether it's negative or positive, we create the story of the life that we want to live. So thank you so much for watching. It's my first live edition. I had a lot of viewers, so I really appreciate it. Feel free to share this. I have no idea how I'm getting this on my YouTube channel, but um, I'm going to figure it out. So have a great week. Think empowering thoughts and disassociate yourself from your past and get off your slave shit and live an empowered life. Love you guys.